Can you just speak to what it takes for a great engineering team for you? The, what I saw in Memphis, the supercomputer cluster, is just this intense drive towards simplifying the process, understanding the process, constantly improving it, constantly iterating it. Well, <laughs> it's easy to say simplify it, and it's very difficult to, to, to do it. Um, you know, I have this very basic first basic first principles algorithm that I run kind of as like a mantra, which is to first question the requirements, make the requirements um, less dumb. The requirements are always dumb to some degree. So if you want to start off by reducing the number of requirements, um, and um, no matter how smart the person is who gave you those requirements, they're still dumb to some degree. Um, if you you have to start there because otherwise uh, you could get the perfect answer to the wrong question. So, so try to make the question the least wrong possible. That's what um, question the requirements means. And then the second thing is try to delete the whatever the step is, the the part or the process step. Um, sounds very obvious, but um, people often forget to do to to try deleting it entirely. And if, if you're not forced to put back at least ten percent of what you delete, you're not deleting enough. Like so, and. Uh, and it's uh, somewhat illogically, people often, most of the time, um, feel as though they've succeeded if they've not been forced to put, the, put things back in. But actually they haven't because they've been overly conservative and, and have left things in there that shouldn't be. So, and only the third thing is try to optimize it or simplify it. Um, again, it sounds, these, these all sound, I think, very, very obvious when I say them, but uh, the number of times I've made these mistakes is uh, more than I care to remember. Um, that's why I have this mantra. So, in fact, I'd say the, the most common mistake of smart engineers is to optimize a thing that should not exist. Right. <laughs> so, so you, like, like you say, you run through the algorithm. Yeah. And basically sh show up to a problem. Uh, show up to the the, the 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 supercomputer cluster and see the process and ask, can this be deleted? Yeah, first try to delete it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not easy to do. No, and and actually, this what what generally makes people uneasy is that you've got to delete at least some of the things that that you delete, you will put back in. Yeah, but going back to sort of where our limbic system can steer us wrong is that um, we tend to remember. Uh, with a, sometimes a jarring level of pain, uh, where we where we deleted something that we subsequently needed, yeah. um, and so people will remember that one time they forgot to put in this thing three years ago, and that caused them trouble, um, and so they overcorrect, and then they put too much stuff in there and overcomplicate things. So you actually have to say, no, we're deliberately going to delete more than we we should, so that we're putting at least one in 10 things we're going to add back in. Mm -hmm. and, and I've seen you suggest just that, that uh, something should be deleted and you can kind of see the, the pain. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everybody feels a little bit of the pain. Absolutely. And, and I tell them in advance, like, yeah, there's some of the things that we delete, we're going to put back in. And, and that people get a little shook by that. Um, but it makes sense because if you, if you're so conservative as to never have to put anything back in. You obviously have a lot of stuff that isn't needed. So you, you, you got to overcorrect. This is, I would say, like a cortical override to Olympic instinct. One of many that probably leads us astray. Yeah. Um, and there's like a step four as well, which is um, any given thing can be sped up. <laughs> However fast you think it can be done, like whatever the speed the, the speed is being done, it can be done faster. But but you shouldn't speed things up until it's off, until you've tried to delete it and optimize it. Otherwise, you're speeding up something that speeding up something that shouldn't exist is absurd. Um, and then and then the the fifth thing is to to automate it. Yeah. And I've gone backwards so many times where I've automated something, <laughs> sped it up, simplified it, and then deleted it. <laughs> and I got tired of doing that. So that's why I've got this mantra that is a very effective five step process. It yeah. works great. Well, when you've already automated, deleting must be real painful. Yeah, so if yeah, it's very. It's like, <laughs> it's like, wow, I really wasted a lot of effort there. Yeah, uh, I mean, what you've done uh, with the with the cluster in uh, Memphis is incredible. Just in a handful well, of weeks. 
yeah, it's not working yet. So I don't want to pop the champagne corks. Um, <laughs> in fact, I have, a, I have a, a call in a few hours with the Memphis team because um, we're, we're having some power fluctuation issues. Um, <laughs> so, yes. uh, yeah, it's like kind of a, there's a, when, when you do synchronized training, when you, you have all these computers that are training, uh, that where, where the training is synchronized to, you know, at the sort of millisecond level, uh, you, it's like having an orchestra you know, and then the, the, the orchestra can go loud to silent very quickly, you know, at, um, sub second level. And then the, the, the electrical system kind of freaks out about that. Like if you, if you suddenly see giant shifts, 10, 20 megawatts, several times a second, uh, the, this is not what electrical systems are expecting to see. So that's one of the main things you have to figure out the cooling, the power, the, yeah. Uh, and then on, on the software, as you go up the stack, how to do the, yeah. the, the distributed compute, all of that. All yeah. of that so to, to today's problem is dealing with, 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 with extreme power jitter. J power jitter. Yeah. The nice ring to that. So that's okay. Uh, and you stayed up late into the night as you often do there. Last week. Yeah. Last week. Yeah. Yeah. We finally, finally got it, uh, got, got training going at, uh, oddly enough, roughly four four twenty AM. Uh, last Monday. <laughs> Total coincidence. Yeah. I mean, maybe it was 422 or something. Yeah. 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 It's that universe again with I mean, the jokes. Exactly. It just loves it. I mean, I, I wonder if you could speak to the the fact that you, one of the things uh, that you did uh, when I was there is you went through all the steps of what everybody's doing just yeah. to get the sense that you yourself understand it and uh, everybody understands it so they can understand when something is dumb. Or some something is inefficient, or that kind yeah. of stuff. Can you speak to that? Yeah. So I like I, like I try to do whatever the, the people at the front lines are doing. I try to do it at least a few times myself. So connecting fiber optic cables, diagnosing a faulty connection, that tends to be the limiting factor for large training clusters is the cabling. There's so many cables. Um, because it, for 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 a coherent training system where you've got um, RDMA, remote, uh, sort of remote direct memory access. Uh, the ho the whole thing is like one giant brain. So it's, it's you've got um, any to any connection. So it's the the any GPU can talk to any GPU out of a hundred thousand. That is a that is a crazy cable layout. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's like it's like a, the human brain, but like at a scale that humans can visibly see. It is a yeah. brain. I mean, the human brain also has a, a massive amount of the brain tissue is the, the cables. Yeah. So they get the gray matter, which is the compute, and then the white matter, which is cables. A uh, big percentage of your brain is just cables. That's what it felt like walking around in the supercomputer center. It's like, we're walking around inside the brain. Yeah. We'll one day build a super intelligent, super, super intelligent system. 